a certain sum is invested for 10 years it amounts to rupees 400 at 10 percentage per annum but when invested at 4 percentage per annum it amounts to rupees 200 find the time here certain sum means this is the principal here so this principal is invested for 10 years now same amount of sum is invested for same years but at different rate of interest that is at 10 percentage and at 4 percentage at 10 percentage rate this principal for T years amounts to 400 rupees. But at 4 percentage rate, the same amount at same years amounts to 200 rupees. Now, this difference in amount is equal to the interest here. That is 400 minus 200 is 200. And 10 percentage minus 4 percentage is 6 percentage. That is 6 percentage is interest is 200 rupees here. Because we already know amount is equal to principal plus interest and if I am writing A1 as 400 then 400 rupees is equal to principal plus interest received in T years. So, I will write it as I1 with the 10 percentage rate. Now, A2 is 200, 200 rupees which is equal to same principal at same years but at different rate that is at 4 percentage rate. So, this is I2 here. Now, if you take the difference, difference in amount 400 minus 200 is 200 rupees here. If you take the difference on right hand side, P and P get cancelled. Now you can see this is the difference in interest. Interest that is at 6 percentage rate. So difference in interest at 6 percentage is 200 rupees. That's why I said 6 percentage of interest is 200 rupees here. Now if 6 percentage is 200, then we need to find out 10 percentage because you already know this is the amount. Amount means principal plus interest. So, if amount is 400 and principal is P and I is equal to 10 percentage rate interest. So, 10 percentage is equal to 200 by 6 into 10 that is 2000 by 6. So, interest here is equal to 2000 by 6. That means here interest is equal to at 10 percentage rate, interest for this amount is 2000 by 6 and principal is equal to 400 minus 2000 by 6, which is equal to 6 into 400, 2400 minus 2000 is 400 divided by 6. So, principal is equal to 400 by 6 here. Now you can see if you take the ratio between principal and amount. Principal is equal to 400 by 6 and amount here is equal to 400. Now 400 and 400 get cancelled. Ratio is equal to 1 is to 6. Now you can see 1 is to 6 means there is plus 5 increment. And this plus 5 increment is for T years at a rate of 10 percentage. Now, 0, 0 cancel. T is equal to 5 into 10, 50 years. So, option D is your answer.